Ukraine says it's ready to start shipping grain again from two Black Sea ports under a UN-brokered agreement with Russia. It's now waiting for the go-ahead from the United Nations, which must declare that sea corridors have been demined and are safe to navigate. On Friday, President Volodymyr Zelensky visited a port in the Odessa region where the ships have been loaded with grain. He said Ukraine was ready to again guarantee global food security by dispatching the country's urgently needed harvest following Russia's five-month-long blockade of its ports. Here's President Zelensky speaking a short while ago. Our side is fully prepared. We sent all the signals to our partners, the UN and Turkey, regarding military guarantees and the security situation. The Minister of Infrastructure is in direct contact with the Turkish side and the UN. We are waiting for a signal from them that we can start. DW's Matthias Bullinger is in Odessa covering this story for us. Uh, Matthias, will the first shipments leave today? Huh. That's a good question. We've just heard it. Ukraine says it's ready. The uh, ships are loaded and uh, the security situation is also in place so that they can safely pass through these waters, these waters that were mined and where a, la a, a path, a, a lane through the sea uh, has been opened, according to the Ukrainian side. But Ukraine is awaiting the go from Turkey, from Istanbul, where the coordination center sits, that where the UN, uh, the Turkish side, and also Russia um, are coordinating their part of the deal. And uh, that's what uh, we are waiting for at the moment. So Ukraine is hopeful that it might be today, but there's no guarantee that it can mm. happen. It can be delayed for whatever reasons. Um, we're waiting. Mm. It's also a very complicated operation to get these shipments out, I understand. Uh, walk me th uh, through this. How will it work? Yeah, we don't have all the details, but the ships, uh, they are now in the ports. For this first shipment, these are ships that were stranded here in February. Uh, they have been loaded and uh, Ukraine has agreed to guarantee a safe passage through the mined sea, through the part of the sea that they have mined. There's, of course, also Russian mines in the sea. Um, and uh, they uh, and Russia has agreed not to attack these ships. No Russian warships will be allowed to enter the Ukrainian waters. Uh, or, uh, Russia is sitting in, in Istanbul. They will inspect the ships once they return to Ukraine uh, so they w w can make sure that no weapons are stored in these ships when they sail empty into the ports. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, the, 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 the guarantors, Turkey and the uh, United Nations, uh, as well as many other countries, are hoping to, um, uh, to, that this will work, that, this, that every, all the sides will commit to their... Uh, to, to what they have said and um, yeah we've been there today the, the ambassadors of uh, uh, the G7 countries were there today also to see the situation on the ground all of them have expressed hope that this will work but we're waiting for the results now away from Odessa there are reports of an attack uh, on a prison in the east of uh, Ukraine killing 40 Ukrainian prisoners uh, what more can you tell us yeah, the prison was hit by a shell or a rocket, we don't know yet. Uh, the barracks where the prisoners were staying, uh, it seems that part of them, or even all of them, were members of the Azov Battalion, the defenders of Mariupol, that had been taken by the Russians uh, in, uh, uh, in May. And uh, the Russians are saying that Ukraine shelled this prison for whatever reason. Uh, Ukraine is denying this. They're saying it was a plot arranged by the Russians to possibly, uh, that's what the armed forces of Ukraine have, say, have been saying, to eliminate uh, traces of mistreatment or even executions. Mm. It's accusation against accusation. We do not know for sure what has happened there. VW correspondent Matthias Böllinger in Odessa there for us. Thank you, Matthias.